All right, what's going on, everyone? So here's the deal. I'm here, and I'm about to get set up here. I need to get everything on my laptop working because my laptop is, uh, hooey. <laughs> that was an interesting, uh, a very interesting 24 hours, to say the least, with little to no information whatsoever from my ISP about what the hell was going on. They still haven't said what was going on. Um, I don't think they're ever going to say what actually happened. I've heard rumors on the internet about what happened. I don't know if I should believe them. I don't think it really matters. What matters is that we're up and running again. And we're going to have a weird stream right now. Because this is not a typical stream. Here, let me get the... Uh... Okay, get ready for this. See? Camera's not even ready. Hold on. This is not a typical stream. Normally, you know, I'd have time to set up. I'd have time to get everything working properly. And, and looking nice for you guys. And, uh... Basically, I'm in a big rush. What happened was... I just hit the wrong thing. What happened was... So, my ISP said one thing and completely lied. Alright, my ISP this morning had said that they were going to have the internet at 3 p.m. That's when they were going to have it ready. Now, they had already said several times that they were going to have the internet working before then, and they lied. It wasn't working. So, no matter what he says, he's a, a fucking liar. So, I didn't trust them. So my wife and I said, what are we going to do? Sit at home all day and do absolutely nothing with no internet and nothing to do, you know? So we said, we'll go out. So we actually got ready. My wife got made up. We went out. We were out and about doing stuff. And then we got word from, not from my internet company, but from one of my neighbors that the internet had come back. Now I had signed up for multiple alerts for my internet company that when the internet came back that they were going to contact me. They still have me. And the internet's been up apparently for them to understand for about an hour now. And they didn't bother to tell me. So... Now, I have the best internet available. In fact, recently Comcast upgraded my internet. I now have 300 megabytes per second download, 30 megabytes per second upload. So, I have the best available internet there is. Basically, worthless. Pretty insanely bad customer service. This morning, I was on the phone trying to get to a human. They literally wouldn't let me speak with a human. It just kept going in a circle with the, the stupid AI robot menu system and would say okay so your internet's out sorry we can't help you goodbye and it hung up on you i was like that's some pretty impressive customer service there for my isp um so you know i was out and i rushed i didn't rush home but we got home and we're like all right let's get everything set so now i'm trying to get everything set up here so we can play no podcast today forget that we got to get into gameplay you know what i mean like we got we can't be wasting time we got to jump right into Street Fighter 6 and Dalsim, I actually did get to watch a video or two last night when I got my phone to work because here's the thing I do not have uh, any real backup internet my phone of course has internet on it via the cell phone service but the cell phone service internet is terrible it's like completely unreliable I'll be, I'll be in, in this room it'll be working for like 5 minutes and then it dies completely for an hour and then it'll come back for like an hour Boop. then it goes away again my cell phone uh, reception is absolutely terrible here where I live. So because of that, I don't have any, like, backup if I can get on it to, like, post. Like, just to give you some examples, some of the tweets and the community posts I tried to make for you guys in the last 24 hours to tell you what was going on, I had to try to post those for, like, 40 minutes to get them to even work because they wouldn't go through. They just kept erroring out over and over and over. Um, Casanova says, how did you end up ending the live stream le yesterday? I didn't. I guess what happens is YouTube after a certain amount of dead air realizes the stream should have been shut off and automatically turns it off because I couldn't do it. I had no access to shut off the stream and the apps on the phone don't let you do it. You're, <laughs> you're completely stuck with a stream that's endless. So, anyway, um, we're not doing a podcast. What we're going to do, let me set up because I'm setting up the laptop right now. We'll do shout outs because we have a couple tips and things to shout out. And then we're going to jump right into Street Fighter 6. And this is an extended stream. Normally, I would end at 4 p.m. I'm going to play till 5 p.m. So I can at least get like two and a half hours in of Dalsim today, which was, you know, my intention to begin with. I hope that we can do it. Okay. Um, oh, let's see here. So what don't I have up? This is not up. Site cannot be reached. Reload. Unlike other people who stream for a living and other people who do YouTube for a living or both, like I do, um... Most of them who are successful don't have to worry about, oh, no, I'm sick, I have to take a day off. For them, it's like, oh, well, I make so much damn money, it doesn't really matter. It's like a holiday for me, right? I, mean, I can't even take time off. The time off that I take, 
I have to like store videos up ahead of time so YouTube isn't dead for days. You know what I mean? Like I am a person who I'm a one man army. I do everything myself, and literally when I work, I pay my, I pay my bills on a month to month basis. It's not like I have any surplus of cash or whatever. So here's what we're gonna do. No, you can't. You cannot start or end a stream that you. Well, you can't end a stream that you started on PC on a phone. It doesn't exist. There's no listing in the YouTube app to get into that stream. You can watch the stream, but you can't edit it or change any settings of it until it's an archived video. You can't stop the live stream. So if I started a stream on this phone, what happens is then that phone is in the app, not on the desktop, and I could end that stream, but the stream was a normal stream that I had done for my desktop. So I, I literally was stuck with an endless stream yesterday of DSP versus the internet. I mean, if anything, thank God it ended. It, it, the stream ended, right? Like that was the final video that I was reacting to there and I wasn't gonna do anything else. So it wasn't like it screwed me and I lost half my show. But at the same time, yeah, that was a pretty shitty way to end it. And I couldn't upload anything. Like nothing's uploaded or whatever, you know? Nothing I could do about that. It's, uh, it's not my fault. I, did no I literally did nothing wrong and violated zero rules. Anyway, it is what it is. I, I missed, basically I missed out on last night's stream and I missed out on half of today's stream, but we're gonna do our best to get gameplay in. So, let me see. So the webcam's working. I think the pop-ups should be working. We're going to test it because uh, I have a tip to do. So we're going to test that in a second. Um, video, audio, everything looks good, right? Okay. And I think I got the laptop working now. What an ordeal. And the other kind of bummer here is that I know you guys love doing the podcast before I play Street Fighter because as you know, when I play Street Fighter, I had to focus on the game. I can't really talk to you. If you're looking for interaction, come back tonight on the late stream, 6.45 p.m. I'll be doing Zelda, and Zelda allows me to have a lot of interaction. I'm sorry I'm not going to get to do that on this stream. It sucks, right? What can you do? Um, I know people love the podcast. It'll be live streamed on Twitch and then uploaded right here to the King of Hate vlogs. What are the topics going to be? Well, we've got a lot to talk about. I want to give everyone a cumulative update on what's been going on in regards to me, the business, um, my taxes. You know, my taxes were a big issue. You haven't heard much about them recently. I want to give everyone a big update on what's going on with that so everyone's in the know about how I've been doing and all that so that, in, you know, behind the scenes, oh, it's Phil doing well. It's Phil, you know, Phil said he was at risk. Maybe his house has to move. Uh, on warmer summer days, I actually have socks on today, <laughs> which I never do. So I'm dressed completely differently to play Street Fighter because I just I literally rushed in the house when I heard the internet was back to try to get everything going for you guys. Okay? So let's do shout outs. What's up, Jade? What's up, Wade? What's up, Casanova? What's up, Juan? Shut up. No one cares about you, boy. I have no clue what happened. My internet dead died. And this, it was an entire neighborhood, and it was eight to 9,000 people affected in my area. It was seven to eight zip codes in my area that had no internet for roughly 24 hours. And it just came back about an hour ago, and I rushed home because I wasn't home. I rushed home to try to get everything set up to, to get going for here today. So, uh, again, my apologies. Obviously not intended. Nothing I can do about it. But now we're back, thank God. Okay? My absolute favorite portion was this morning, 9 a.m., I'm calling Comcast. They will now not allow me to speak to their customer service rep. It says, we're aware of the outage in your area, and if you need help with that, the rep will not help you. We, you know, have a good day. And it actually hung up on me, and I was like, that's impressive. They will not let me speak with a human about my issue. It's, you know, pretty good. These fucking people. 